So Radharani is seeing Shama Sundar and saying, Hey Gopinath, I am your Dasyan Dasyano Dasi. So this is this is the mood. Even the Sakis they feel like we're just Dasis of Krishna. It says in Ras Lila, one verse, Ashoka Dasika. Ashoka Dasika. Oh Krishna, we are your unpaid maidservants. Ashoka Dasika. The word there, the there is in the Ras Lila, Dasika. Dasi means a servant. So you don't when you're asking a question of well I I'm reading about Pragalba and I really like I like the Lita because I'm a little hot headed, I'm a little bold, I'm a little proud, I, I'm a little harsh. I really, I want to be a I want to be a sucky like Lalita. But that, that can be there if you're in, in Nimbarki Sampradaya or something. But in Gaudiya Sampradaya, we're in Gopi Bhav, but the specific Gopi Bhav is Mandri Bhav, and Mandris are Dasis of Radharani. So our Bhav are, we don't have Nayaka Bhav. We're describing Nayaka Bhavas. These are the bhavas and feelings and moods of Krishna's intimate, amorous lovers. The mandris are not intimate, amorous lovers of Krishna. They're maidservants. They massage his feet and they massage Radharani's feet and they brush the hair. A servant. So there's no question. There's only one bhav and one mood for a servant, dasosmi. So the word kinkar means servant. Kinkri means female servant. So what does this word kinkri come from? Kim karomi. Kim means what, K-I-M, and karomi means what can I do. So Radharani's kinkari means what can I do. I did this service, uh, Lita asked me to make five garlands, I made five garlands. Okay, now, I'd like a new bhakta, a really enthusiastic new bhakta that wants to do all kinds of service. He's like a God's gift to the temple commander. <laughs> it lasts for about a month, you know. At least it lasts until he gets initiated, and then it's... Lay back, kick back, jump back, talk back. <laughs> I ain't doing it. Hey, come on. No, I'm initiated now. Watch out. <laughs> I, I was, all a, was all a ploy to get what I wanted. You know, I, I made a fake show of humility just to get my little Brahmin thread. <laughs> so it's consistent. So that's what we develop. We, by reading about the mantris and gopis and how they're serving Krishna, we see how humble they are and how cooperative they are and how selfless they are. And that's in our acharyas, they tell us that the gopis, the mandris, and gopis, and especially the mandris, are made of nothing but service. Service, service, service. So a mandri, a mandri you could say, would be an ideal disciple, an ideal shisha, an ideal bhakta, he would be a, a lady or a gentleman or young man or young woman, they were simply made of service, 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 service. But that's transcendental consciousness. That's pure consciousness. 